All right, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to swap out paper. Um, this is our photo booth printer. This is the DNS 620. Uh, what I have here is a roll of paper and then I have the uh, dye ink. This is a dye printer. Um, so this is what you have in a media kit. It'll either come in a box or with the kit. So the very first thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna push this button down here. We're gonna lift this and we're gonna pull this out. We'll pull this out first. This is your ink tray, essentially. And I'll show you how to print that out in a sec. We'll set that over there. Then we're gonna push this button and we're gonna pull this out. So this is where all the clippings go. You wanna make sure to empty this at the end, just dump it out, throw it away, so that way it doesn't get caught in here. We're gonna set that over there. Then we're gonna pull this out. So this is gonna be your media. This one's almost done. So we're gonna do, so we're gonna pop that out. We're gonna pop that out, set that over there. We're gonna pop off this label. Now the big thing is you want it so it feeds in this way. So essentially, we're gonna go here, pop that in that side pop that inside. If you ever get a jam, you take some scissors and cut it. You want a nice clean cut there. So that way when you pop it in here, so we're gonna do a little bit, we'll pop it in and then in a little bit, we'll feed that through. So take this. Now we're gonna take the tray. Let's get that in here. And so you see how this tray is. So we have the almost looks like a little nipple side and then you have this big roller that's going to be on that side. So we're going to pop this out. And that's what your media is going to look like. Then we're going to open this one. Let's get this out of the way. So then you see here, you're going to pop this in here. Push that down, pop this in here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll this over, pop that down, pop that down. You're just gonna roll it a little bit. Once that's done, you're gonna take this and you're gonna slide it in here. Once that's done, you're gonna close that and power it on. But what you need to do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna spin it and you're gonna hear a click. Once you hear that click, then it's good to go. Let me get a cable and I'll demonstrate that for you guys. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna roll this around slowly. Keep going. Hear that little click, beeped. So now you're gonna take this. You put the tray back in, you're gonna close this. You're gonna close that. Here it beep, goes off. Wait a second. So now it's gonna do some test prints. And now you have that green light and that's good to go. So when you're getting down at an event and you're getting low, you can swap it out. It doesn't have to be the bare minimum, but we like to go to the bare minimum. Um, and then this is, this is your set. So let's go over that one more time. Now that's done. Pull that out. You got the printer here, the paper. Now you got the shell stuff in here. Put that back, roll it, and you'll hear a little click. Don't gotta force it in there. Once that's done, you're good to go. You're gonna shut this, and they'll redo everything, and everything is good to go. All right, so this is a Dyson printer. So you got your paper. This is your whole media kit. Swap it out in here. If it's getting low, you can swap it out uh, ahead of time. It doesn't have to be completely done. 
um, but it does make it very helpful when going through a kit and like having to worry about because the only thing that really goes wrong at a lot of our events is going to be the printer paper not too long not too often but it usually can hang people up and people are waiting for the paper um, so we usually like to swap it out so that's everything that i have on the printer if you have any questions uh leave them in the comments below my name is alex with dj cut entertainment